Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and I'm just glad to be here today. <laughs> anyway, it's been crazy. It is Grammy week, and actually the Grammys are tomorrow. And we have been running crazy, you will not believe. Okay, when I say running crazy, yeah, running crazy. Huh. Anyway, there's been so many different things going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe we should talk about something other than Grammys. Okay, I guess we're going to get back to the news. But anyway, it's been very exciting. Paramount picture last night, friends and family, of course. Who was there? Oh, we did see Adam Lambert. One of my friends had, had um, they had come together with Adam and then spent half the evening trying to find them because of course <laughs> it's freezing cold. People are half halfway checking their cell phones for messages and there's a lot of people there. So Adam Lambert, Apple, sorry Apple, I was getting you confused with Will I Am, but I know you're both with the same group. I know you look a little different Will I Am and Apple. <laughs> really, it was cold. Car Carly Rae Jepsen was the big deal. Uh, Bella Thornton was there, of course. And of course, there were a lot of other artists. Oh, okay. Anyway, back to the real world and news. We have old Cam here with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you didn't believe that. The press said the president has them on the run. They're, uh, they're on their heels. That they're going to have to meet every one of his demands. They all, you know, they're publishing that, you know, that they invited the people, the families that were mass, uh, the children that were massacred, all of them were going to be Obama's guests, mm -hmm. which is basically it's not going to get him anywhere because he's not going to get his gun legislation. Mm -hmm. It's never going to pass the Democrats, Republicans. They got a gimme because they, the, all it is, it's about taking this. It's about removal of the Second Amendment of the Constitution. The Democrats know it. The press knows it, and right now they're after um, they're after they're, they're trying to protect Dick Gregory in Washington D.C. for having an assault weapon in his position. They're illegal in Washington D.C., and the magazine was illegal in Washington D.C. And on Meet the Press, he's showing the weapon and how it's used, and he said that he said that you're not allowed to have one, and they're wanting criminal charges brought against him, and they're trying oh. they're trying to get around his arrest, and they're going to have to arrest him. It doesn't make any difference. You can't, if it's not legal to bring it into the city, he brought one into the city. He had an illegal magazine. He had illegal ammunition. Oh, Everything it's for was, demonstration purposes it's still, No, it was illegal, flat out illegal to have in the city. Demonstration purposes, semantics you can call it, but they're trying to say, well, this was news. No, there's no exception in the D.C. laws. But, but they aren't paying attention to the laws anyway, as far as enforcement goes. Ah, but they've ordered the, their demand. If they said if they refuse to arrest him, they can't arrest anybody, anybody else. else. That's the way it works. Is he's now being used against the people in D.C. If you do not arrest Gregory and charge him with, with felony criminal possession of a firearm, ammunition, other stuff, you cannot arrest anybody else and charge him. So they're a, they've got themselves They've got fired. themselves in a quandary. Yes. yes. They've got to do something. Okay, Obama taxes first, then cuts later. Well, he said, well, yeah. He, there, he said, we need a fair and balanced approach, but first we have to get that we, we can't damn, hurt the safety net because children are going to go hungry in here. Uh, people with autism are not going to be treated. You're not going to have it. He's giving you a list of the things that are going to be cut. No, they're going to cut 9% of his budget, which puts, he doesn't even put it within 100% of what he's added to the budget. They, they cut 9%. They don't even, uh, they said what, you, you can basically get the, they said, if you went back to George Bush's budget only, you could balance the budget in 10 years. Mm -hmm. But he won't do that. He wants to raise tax. He said, we're going to cut all of these loopholes out that, the, that you can't, you know, that you cannot get, that the big rich can. The problem is, is you can get the same loopholes as they do, which what happens is Obama gets off a monitor, he gets off of what they tell him to say, and then he puts his foot in the mouth. Those, those same gimmicks that they use to keep their taxes low, it's available yeah. to anyone in the country. Yeah. And scientists develop printer that can create living stem cells. A printer? I don't. Well, I, well, I, I, first of all, I'm... they're hung up on these new printers. No, you can't. I, I've never seen a printer that could print, uh, that can give you a 3D object. It, they're, the printers are flat. And what they're doing is they're called, the, what they're talking about is mold makers, not printers. Oh, well that's a whole different It is thing. a whole different I mean, there thing. are 3D printers and it does give you a 3D effect, but it's more like layered it's, shears. It's, it's a it's print. Like, it's a print. It is not anything more than an optical illusion. You can't print 3D. 
you can mold in 3D because I used to, okay, they used to, um, okay, when I was in the Cub Scouts, they'd take people to the plants and they were doing injection molding way back when and they'd give, they show people how we do this. This is how we make mock-ups as we do injection molding. They give, they give people little toys made from their injection molding things. And photos, Ravens Super Bowl Parade. Oh God, it was a disaster. You know, the, and they broke the Super Bowl trophy. What? It's never been busted. They ever. broke the trophy? They broke the trophy. What? Well, because those people are, okay. First oh, of, my God. First of all, it's cold in Baltimore. They weren't wearing gloves. They were, all of them were dressed too lightly for the parade. And uh, one of the fumble, one of the big fumble, fumble well, they, they broke the stand, they break the Stanley Cup trophy all the time. It's been put back together so many times. Oh. But this thing, <laughs> they, they busted it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, first time ever. Um, and the face King Richard III revealed. The, which is, I still have not been able to understand this one because actually we were talking to uh, Nicholas Guest about that the other day at the Guinness. Oh, we were, weren't we? We were talking about it. His wife was amazed. How did they do that? They said, well, they do it with something going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he's, off, he's off on King Richard III because he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an Anglophile is what he is. <laughs> Well, his brother, I think he's in families to get English Lord in the family. So. You know, they, I, I was, had so much fun with them. Nicholas and Pamela Gass. They were such He dull. went off with our cheap sheet. <laughs> <laughs> he took our cheap sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and Obama, we just can't cut our way to prosperity. Yes, you can. You can't. Okay, you have to stop spending. And he doesn't. I mean, you have. Every country in the world knows that they can't raise taxes any higher than they are. They have to stop spending. And the problem comes is that social spending. Okay, they're trying to figure out Obama's health care program is now $3 trillion over original estimates. And it hasn't even kicked in. $3 trillion. That has to be paid for. And he said, well, the object has always been to get universal health care. With people paying for it, mm -hmm. everybody paying for it, with fees up, you would not believe insurance rates going up. It's still nearly $3 trillion in money they can't find. You just can't print your way out of it. What it is, you cannot print your way out of a problem. But Obama does have one thing they did say last again in one of the comics. He said, we do have a growing industry. We actually, we're the only country in the world that makes the presses for printing money on it. We're turning those presses out for every country in the world like they're pant candy. Mm. Um, and U.S. futures up on glimpse of manufacturing. No, manufacturing is down. I, this is what I, I find amazing. Factory orders are down. Factory orders have been down for the last quarter. Inventory is down. They said, well, inventory on, on, on furniture is down. Inventory on cars is down. Because, uh, that, you know, I'm going to explain something very simple. Over the Christmas holidays, when they have all these sales, people went out and bought stuff. Mm -hmm. But they didn't even buy as much as they were usually. They had less inventory, and they've not reordered to replace. Mm -hmm. Go to the stores and see how many shelves are empty in stores, but they haven't replaced them. How 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 empty are the nail section, the nail polish section, and every I store know. you go it's, to? I know it's like it's hard to sell inventory when you don't have any. And they're not producing mm -hmm. any because people aren't buying anything. So it's kind of like oh. um, Valero Energy fourth quarter profit surges on refining margins. Yeah, because they're they're uh, they're turning out more and using less. But the problem comes is that there has not been a new refinery allowed to be put into use by the Democrats for over 30 years. And uh, they said, uh, Bill O'Reilly, who really hates the oil industry, I don't know why, because they paid for his education, he said, well, they mistreated my father. Well, he was, they were hired to be fired. But uh, he, he's grubby. He said, well, we know what they're doing. And then one of the people said, but the problem is the refineries are old. They're busting, they're cra they're busting up. They're having to be worked. And you, you know, you have to add new things to them, which they're not built for. And therefore, they charge you for what they're doing. Plus, they're being hit with new gases. As Obama's wanting to take their uh, deductions away from them, they're being hit by new taxes by every state in the country, trying to get money from people for their uh, infrastructure. And VMware to cut 900 jobs offers weak outlook. Yeah, that's uh, that all the companies are cutting work. They're cutting because there is no economic outlook is half of what they originally thought it was going to be. They're looking for a bad first quarter of this year like that, a bad. They said basically there will, it's going to be a little recession, but not a big recession. Two quarters of negative output together are a recession. 
but it's only going to be a little recession brought on by the Republicans, of course. And backyard chicken bans causing a stir in Southland cities. Oh, I know, because people basically raise chickens in their backyards, and the, the, um, the problem comes is that it, it, it's not the chickens, it's the roosters, folks. Mm -hmm. Roosters tend to go, they tend to go off early in the morning. U.S. economy shrinks at zero point one percent. First time in three and a half years. Yeah, because but it's the Republicans' fault because they won't give Obama the money he needs for. Obama wants infrastructure spending. He wants hiring of people for green jobs. He wants green wants you to invest in green industries. He wants you to hire more teachers, build more schools. And he needs another trillion dollars to do it. Uh, ain't gonna happen. So. Mm. And Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, okay. In this modern age, well, you may have done the work. <laughs> a good possibility you didn't bother to save it. Mm. 